Hello YouTube, the Freedoms from Sioux, British Columbia, Canada. Video number five of the restoration of our truck camper. Our YouTube channel is off the grid Canadian style. So my wife and I have decided that we are going to take these two skylights out. Ah, do you think it looks easy? I don't think so. So these have been done with what looks like some type of elastometric roofing around them. I'm having to scrape off, sorry about the shadow, it's sunny here today. I'm going to have to scrape off everything, all that gray, which is like a, oh, I don't know, concrete almost. I'm having to use a chisel to get it off. But we're gonna take these out and I'm gonna use some galvanized metal to cover the hole with roofing, cement, and self-tapping screws. So I wanted to show you kind of like the beforehand photo of what I'm working with. Uh, I've already started to scrape some off. As you can see, my little pile of shavings. Uh, not an easy task. Probably going to take me a better part of a day to get these scraped down and ready for the new galvanized metal. I also think that these seams that are on the roof are covered with it as well. So let's see if I can get a closer up for you. Yeah, that, that stuff there is like concrete. I'm having to take it off with a chisel. Not the easiest task at hand, but once we seal up these holes with some galvanized metal and some good roofing cement that have been, has been recommended from the Rona expert, the Rona associate, very nice gentleman. But we're gonna do that, and then after we seal those up with the galvanized metal, we will use a uh, snow roofing uh, to roll on here and seal any of the existing holes and such. But this is uh, just a prehand video, so once I get these out and cleaned up, I'll do a second video of installation of the metal and the actual product I'm, that we've decided to use or been advised to use. Uh, these two were the leakers in our camper, and every time it rains, they they leak pretty good. Actually, that first front bigger one is the definitely the biggest leaker and I just thought that we would take both out to be sure of no leaks so the, these are a troublesome thing replacement costs I looked at a local place could get the small 14 by 14 one here in the front uh, for about $60 and I'm pretty sure that front one I didn't see a sizing probably close to a hundred so for probably two hundred plus dollars we're going to uh, eliminate and, and even taking them out and replacing them with brand new ones uh, doesn't guarantee that uh, there's going to be no leaks so we decided we'd just eliminate them altogether. there's nice uh, windows in the side of the camper so plenty of light in there uh, just eliminate the leaks so Sherry's going to give you an inside view of the skylights and what we've done so far. We've, we've taken it right down pretty much down to the walls and we're going to start to replace the wood as soon as we get these two leaking problems dealt with. So I'm going to pass over the, the video to Sherry and she'll continue on with a inside view of the skylights. There you go, doll. Okay, here we go. <coughs> so, <coughs> this is the first little one that is a pain in the butt. So, once he gets this out, we're going to replace these. And then, here is the second one that's right over the bunk. So, we don't want it leaking. And that's a pretty big one. That one's going to be a, a bit of a pain to get out, I think. But as you can see, we don't need them. We have a window here. We have a window over the bunk, which is a little one. And then we got the one window here and another over here. So it'll definitely be bright enough. And we did take out the fridge. So this is where the fridge was. And I don't think we're going to use the fridge. Okay. So... So there he is, somewhere. 
up here. <laughs> Still scraping the goo. <laughs> At least the screws come out easily, but I've got to scrape certainly all this off in order for it to be yeah. clean and adhere properly. It's probably the biggest job in the whole camper restoration. Uh, yeah, but it's the obviously roof. the most important. Yes. So that this uh, it's not leaking. We're going to go through lots of weather uh, across Canada, possibly down, maybe even into the United States. We'll see how it goes. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, we just want to do it right. YouTube. Okay, so we'll give you uh, another video once I get these out. Mm -hmm. You got this uh, bad boy to get out up. too, if you can see up there. But those are the two biggest problems: is the skylights for leakage that uh, we can see so far. Okay, YouTube, we will see you probably in a few hours. Have a coffee, and he's gonna keep on scraping. Okay, bye for now.